Okay guys, what's up? It's Ricky Carruth here. So is the DOJ correct about buyer agency? In this ongoing lawsuit with NAR, I posted a video last week, I'll link it below if you aren't caught up with the situation, but there's one little part of this lawsuit that keeps running through my head over and over and over again. I'm looking at it from everyone's perspective, trying to figure out how I feel about it. Okay, and I wanna explain how I feel about it in today's video, and I would love to hear your thoughts. And it's all about buyer agency, all right? So before I get into that, I want you to do one little easy favor for me, it doesn't take much at all, smash the like button right under this video. And also, I'm gonna link a video I did a couple years ago that I really like, I think this is a really incredible video for you to watch, it's called The Real Estate Coaching Scam. And if you haven't seen this video, I want you to watch it, I want you to let me know if you want me to remake the video. Okay, so let's dive in and I really want to hear your thoughts on this, okay? The part of the lawsuit that I keep having problems with running through my head, okay, is the fact that they're saying that it's not right, okay, for real estate agents to tell buyers that their services are free, okay? They're saying that it's not right for real estate agents to tell buyers that they basically work for them for free. And I ran this through my head so many different ways. I looked at it from the buyer's perspective. I looked at it from the Department of Justice's perspective. I looked at it from the, the NAR's perspective. I looked at it from the broker's perspective. I looked at it from everyone's perspective over and over and over again, trying to figure this thing out. And I see everyone's perspective. I see the Department of Justice's perspective. I see NAR's perspective. I see the brokers, the buyers. I see everyone's perspective. And what I can't wrap my head around is the fact that I still keep coming back to the same realization, and that is that the sellers are paying the agents. The seller is paying that buyer brokerage fee. This is just the way I feel about it. And one reason is I keep running through the scenario of, okay, what if the buyer didn't have a broker? What if they bought directly from the listing agent? What if it was a for sale by owner? No one's even represented at all. And I keep looking at it from an apples to apples perspective. And I keep thinking, if the buyer's not represented, I don't see them getting any better of a deal. I don't see them getting 2.5% or 3% or 2% or whatever their commission would have been to the buyer broker. I don't see the buyer getting that kind of discount if they don't have a broker. I see the for sale by owner putting that 2.5 cent in their pocket. I see the price of the property, whatever the appraised value is, I see that price being paid regardless if there's a buyer broker involved or not. So in my mind, sure, technically looking at it from certain points of view, you can see where, okay, on the HUD, it's got the buyer brokerage getting a fee. And so you can say, okay, they're not working for free. They're actually making money. But then it comes back to the question of who is actually paying the buyer broker? That's the part that I can't wrap my head around. And a lot of people, I was reading through the comments of the video I did last week, you know, you guys put a lot of comments and put a lot of thought into it, and there was a lot of incredible perspective in those comments. And some of you said that you feel like this is moving in a direction where the, the buyer will end up having to pay their own fee, their own commission. Okay, the buyer's gonna have to tack on the buyer brokerage fee on top of the price. That's what a lot of you said. So who knows what direction it's really going in. I also had a couple comments commenting on my comment about the saying that commissions may end up being a 4% regular you know, commission. That may be a standard commission. And some of you said, I disagree with you, you know, suggesting that. No, I'm not suggesting that. I believe that eventually the long-term vision of it is that it will organically, the market itself dictates that. Not me, I can't change the commission based on what I say on a video. What I'm saying is, is I think that the pressure from tech and you know, knowledge and you know the fact that everybody can get all the information that they need and the fact that there's so many discount brokers and I, I feel like it's, it's not really there yet but we do see pressure and I think we'll eventually lead to a place that is still going to be extremely lucrative. Now, maybe it never goes there. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. I just think eventually Heck, it could take another decade. Who knows, right? Nobody can tell the future. But back to the subject at hand here about who is actually paying that buyer broker commission. 
I still feel like, and I've thought about it for days now, I still feel like the seller is actually paying that commission and that we are working for the buyers for free on their end because regardless if we're involved or not or if there's an agent involved or not, I believe that they're still going to pay that appraised value. Let's talk apples to apples here, okay, appraised value. Sure, you may find, you know, deals, okay, somebody that sells under appraised value. You may have people that, that buy stuff over appraised value. I don't think that's really taking into consideration what the buyer brokerage fee is. I think that's just the market and what people are willing to sell for and buy for. I think the seller pays that commission out of their proceeds. It doesn't come out of the buyer's proceeds. It comes out of the seller's proceeds. So that's why that's that's kind of the reason why I feel I still feel even though this is coming up and there's a lawsuit against NAR about it, I still feel like the seller is paying that commission. If you're unfamiliar with this lawsuit, I posted a video last week, I'm gonna link it below, along with the real estate coaching scam video that I want you to let me know if you want me to remake it or not. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I do live calls with agents all over the world. That's every Tuesday at 4 p.m. Central, right here on this YouTube channel. I also do a talk show with three agents every Thursday at 4 p.m. Central, where I let those agents pick my brain or chat or ask questions or whatever they want to talk about for a good 10 or 15 minutes a piece. As always, you can join my free coaching program at zerodiamond.com. I've got scripts, 90 day action plan, tutorials, my weekly email, the entire strategy of how I sell 100 properties every year as a single agent. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I'll see you on the next one. Let's go.